Welcome to NAB Show 2024. The preeminent event for the entire media and broadcast industry. Right here in Las Vegas. Ashley, within broadcast, joining me is Matthew of PAG Limited. Hello. Hi, yeah. Hi. So tell me, what is the company's current position right now in the media and broadcasting industry? I think we're very strong on everything for the current media. Uh, we've got new uh, batteries. Uh, we've got things that will support the 28 volts uh, with, with a new Synergy battery. We've got new little outlets, new little gadgets, which will then help the uh, consumer with the power that they need. Very good. And what trends are you noticing as far as your technology in the market? There's a lot wide range of trends. One of the trends at the moment is uh, cinema camera batteries, uh, cinema cameras. So therefore, we need batteries for that. They usually run on 28 volts rather than 14 volts. We've developed a new Synergy battery, which will actually link with our old existing batteries, existing batteries, of which when then would actually double up to 28 volts. Uh, we've got other small gadgets, which we, USB C is now the uh, predominant function of batteries now where you need the USB-C input and output so we're using that as well. Very good. And what are you currently highlighting here at the show? You have a couple things you were telling me about. Tell me about this. Oh, you've got wonderful things here. Well, first of all, we've got the new USB-C module here. So this will basically be, uh, you put this into a normal uh, battery. You just basically pop that in. And so therefore it's 36 watts. So that gives you uh, 5, 9 and 12 volts, all at 3 amps. And that will work on the existing MPL batteries. What we also have is the new USB uh, uh, bi-directional uh, charger. So this actually has a USB-C input, but it's also output as well. So in an emergency you can charge your mobile phone from your charger. I might need that today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we also have the MPL 150s. So basically what we've got here is we've got two types at the moment. We're just showcasing here. Okay. One is nylon and one's metal. The metal is actually meant to improve uh, the uh, cooling of the battery uh, because it then uses it as like a heat sink. But uh, so it's slightly heavier, but both have the ability where you can actually unscrew and so therefore by unscrewing the plate we can then take the cell pack out, replace it when we need to. So therefore it's um, environmentally a bit, a bit better. Very good. And can you tell me a bit about uh, any of your latest developments who you might be targeting with these? I think with what we've done, we've looked at ordinary broadcast cameras and we know that there's a big trend with the cinema cameras now and by using our batteries we can actually go for the 28 volts. And what do we have here? We have the Synergy battery. So it looks like a PAG battery but what it is is that it's got the function ability where it's got a uh, reader, a barcode reader and with that and along with another battery and then turn the battery into a 28 volt. So we'll work with a cinema or 28 volt camera, but separated, it still works mm -hmm. on a 14 volt charger. You're definitely ahead of the trends. What can we expect from PAG in the near future? PAG always always looking to the future, um, and NAB is a fantastic place where we can actually see what's what the future trends are in the in a number of years time. But what we feel is that we, the battery should be the uh, power source for not only the camera, but also its accessories as well. So you've got then the, the lights, the radio mics, everything else should really, why not use the battery that we've got for the camera? And therefore that will resolve uh, the ability to use uh, single use batteries and cut that waste down. You were telling me a, there's a company, we won't name which one, but there was a company using tons and tons of batteries a day, right? And we can cut down yeah. on that? Yeah. Well, ex exactly right. There are lots of news organizations that use thousands of AA batteries, and they just go into landfill. So what we're trying to do is let's try and sort that out, 
and actually use our batteries as part of the solution to that problem. Love that and love your batteries. We actually use your batteries. Always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much.